Okay, so in the video, this part falls right off. I didn't remove any clip anywhere to do that. In fact, the one small clip I have left, and it, for sure it's got to go on the top of the intermediate wheel here. It still leaves me one large clip I've got hanging around here. So, and this has that funny machining in this uh, shaft here. I get, you know, I think this is supposed to be rotating loose like this. And it has this screw here. So this has to be the adjustment. Maybe, maybe the idea is somehow the screw can lock the height of this in those uh, ribs and yet the thing can still be free to do that. Of course the whole shaft, the whole shaft is turning here. I don't know. I can certainly feel it bumping over those over those things. Now I think if we set this to the top This is not lining up with the. Uh, here we go. Something not quite right here. Because I cannot move it into 78. Six, yeah, this is way off. Cannot be. If I have that uh, fork thing completely backwards. And I have this knot completely backwards. Let's check that out. not making sense. That would be 16. That's nothing. 78. In fact, what's happening is this is going down, so I'm engaging the larger and larger diameter, and that's increasing the speed. So this, this should say 78. It actually says 16. Right here. That moves really nicely. You know, I think there's a clip that goes in there. That's probably where that big clip goes. One extreme, up the highest, lowest speed. The control is in the middle. 
between 45 and 33. the control in its proper position. It should be 16. Okay, so it's 16. This piece be way over from where it is. What's going on there? Well, I did change the position of the key up here, but I never, sorry there, I never changed the position of this. I can change this 90 degrees here. Let's pull the pin out. Yeah, I didn't want that to happen. I did not want that to happen. What was I doing there? Okay, now I'm all messed up. Okay, so I want to rotate that piece. for 16. Hey, it says 16. Up. Up. One more. Up. 78. There we got it. Okay, so this is the proper arrangement now. Before things fall apart, let me put this screw back in. should go up in there. <coughs> right. Up in there. Okay. Let's see if I can do it like this without taking it apart further. are hurting. It did. <laughs> okay. Kind of cheated my way through that. Uh, what? It's still out of kilter here. Thought I had it right. Now there we are, 78. Oh, this last setting here that has no number is off or just disengaged, I think. I think that's what that is. Nice smooth action. Far cry from how it was when I started. Okay, now let's <coughs> let's put back this piece. Thank you. 
Oh, that is this is a screw. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Some reason I'm getting a spasm in my neck here while I'm doing this. I guess I've been holding my arm in a funny position or something. <coughs> I've got to prop that screw up so it pops up the top here and I can work on it. Maybe I can jam a bigger screwdriver under it. I kind of doubt it. Okay. Now I gotta hold that screw in place. Tell how tight I'm getting that. Oh, that feels pretty tight. Okay. Get the other one. Where'd the other one go? There it is. and brass. <coughs> brass nut. Okay, I've got it. Oh, that was close. screw head with the screwdriver. even lubricated it. Just cleaning it. So now the next step here is uh, just 
get a little bit of oil on the uh, spindle here. It's not a good idea. But I want to get the dust out of here while I can. And now would be a good time to put a little drop of oil in the upper bearing of the motor. If I can spot my <coughs> my oiler, one of my oilers. There it is. I'll give you a good look at where I'm putting this oil here. It won't fall over. You're going to see it upside down. For a moment, I'll just fix the focus a little bit. Okay, making sure I'm seeing the exact spot. Just one little drop of oil. takes. Now, next thing, take a look at this wheel. Let me uh, bring the focus in really close. Now, what's going on there? They're kind of split. Almost a lot of these have a little bit of a tread to them. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, the tread is <coughs> the tread is beat down. Pretty obvious just from dragging my nail on it. This has lost its rubberiness on the outside. I mean, you can almost see a shell on there. I don't know what to make of that. Like, uh, there's clearly an outer. Like this, this groove here. I don't think it means anything. So this part is quite soft. I think it really is just as usual. It's just the very, very edge. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for all the coffee. So I think. <coughs> <coughs> Coughing in my microphone. I need a mute button. That's what they have in radio stations. And, you know, broadcaster can mute his voice with a button and cough away and then come back on, you never know. <coughs> hey. Hold the fort. made a difference, didn't it? The whole mechanism rose up a little bit. Huh. Boy, I don't like that. It's so close to completely slipping. You know what? I'm going to vice it just a little bit.
Oops, there's my messy shop. much here. Ooh, that's a pretty solid piece of metal. Okay, I'm not sure I compressed it much at all. Let's put it back on. Yeah, I don't know if that made any difference, but... Wondering whether I should put some grease on this. What was that? Yikes. I knocked the screw off my bench. Yeah, I think I'm going to put a little touch of grease on there. <coughs> clean the knob, I'll take it off again to clean it up properly. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to get on with grinding this, this wheel here. I'll set up for that. Okay, so if you've watched lots of my videos, you've seen me do this uh, many times before. Just take the intermediate wheel, find a nice screw that'll go through it like that. Good. <clears throat> okay, got to hunt down the key here. See, I've clamped a uh, regular flat file over here. And all I'm going to do is just grind along like this. Yeah. So I want it to turn this way to cut. It's going the wrong way. Nothing about this drill, I can change its direction.
Okay. Wait a minute. Because I didn't get that tightened up enough. loose as can be. That's good and tight. Right into the garbage can. Okay. Pretty sure we're ready now. Quite a bit of material coming off. Ah, not a good camera for that. <clears throat> Let me switch to my other. Oh, that's much, much better. Yeah, I can just. Some of these you have to grind a fair bit off, but this is not bad at all. Ah, it's just about ready. I'll just give it a little more grinding. You know, kind of like a one for the road sort of thing here. And I think that's good for a try, right there. Okay, we're getting close to operating this. Uh, There, it's sort of auto focused on. I don't know what. Maybe my elbow. <laughs> I have two identical cameras, and then a third one is a different make. And I can call up the uh, camera um, property control. I can control focus and stuff like that. But on the two identical cameras, the software gets confused. It's not really looking for two identical cameras. I haven't quite figured that out yet, just how to turn on and off autofocus on both of them independently. Just one of the background challenges I have in making these videos that I don't talk too much about. I'm trying my best not to touch the uh, running edge. Yeah, there were a couple washers. Were they up here or were they up here? Let's see if there's some washers down here. Usually there are. Doesn't seem to be. I guess they're on the top. Down 
you go. They're very close to operating this guy. Here we go. I like it. Exciting part where the clip disappears. Nope, got it. That's great. So we've got the trigger mechanism back together. We got the speed control back together. We're ready to try this guy out. Okay, let me set things up for that. <laughs> 